Right now, and we are getting a closer look this morning at the investigation into the Austin bombing suspect. The FBI has determined there is no evidence showing the Austin bomber was motivated by any recognized ideology. This comes after the U.S. Attorney's Office filed a motion this month. Kennedy Rodriguez joins us live this morning from downtown Austin with a look at the document. Good morning, Candy. Hey, good morning, guys. Not only do court documents show that Mark Condon did not have any connection to any recognized ideology, it also shows he had no communication with any international hate groups or domestic international terror groups, excuse me, or domestic hate groups. But that 25-minute video confession he made shortly before he died remains sealed. Now, as far as this investigation goes, it is closed after this motion was filed by the U.S. Attorney's Office, and there will be no additional charges sought in connection with the bombings. The case was officially closed less than a week ago on January 10th. However, not everything was disclosed and some information will remain sealed for various reasons, including the victim's personal information. Austin police say Conduit planted five homemade bombs that killed two people and injured five. The first bomb happened in early March, killing 39-year-old Anthony House. The second on March 12th, killed 17-year-old Draylon Mason and injured his mother. A few hours later, a third explosion severely injured 75-year-old Esperanza Ho Perrera. Then on March 18th, William Groh and his friend Cole Mathis were hurt when they triggered a trip-wired bomb. Now, as far as that 25-minute video goes, Chief Manley, Brian Manley with APD, has said in the past that he fears that by releasing that video, it would do more harm than good and also thinks it could actually better educate a future copycat bomber, which he would not want to happen. Even with these new court documents out, we still do not know what was the motivation behind Conduent for him to kill. Back to you.